to this month's nerd block. Um, I believe this month's theme is what I thought last month's was when I was recording it. Um, summer mixtape or something like that, so I'm guessing stuff from the 90s and that sort of stuff. But then again, I was wrong last time, so let's see. Uh, this, of course, is the shirt from last uh, month's box. It was a cross between the Cobra Kai from Karate Kid, or at least their line sweep the leg, and Cobra Commander from G.I. Joe. Anyway, let's get this open. Yeah, we'll start off with the shirt, I think. And this month's shirt is so fucking awesome. Uh, growing up, I was a huge Ghostbusters fan, so this shirt <laughs> is awesome. Damn. I cannot wait to wear that. Of course, if you like these shirts, uh, the uh, Nerdblock people also run shirtpunch.com. Full new shirts each uh, 24 hours. What four prints every 24 hours? Damn, now that is awesome. Alrighty, next we have something rather big. It's a Ghost Busters Trap Lunchbox. Something inside, but we'll look at that in a second. Awesome is that. So detailed, I love the graphics on it. Kick ass meter, particle dispersion. Jeez. Oh, that is cool. Next, the thing that was inside the ghost trap a plush slimer. Looks awesome. Bloody hell. You've even got multiple chins. <laughs> oh, jeez. That's cool. Uh, can't wait to put that on my shelf. Jeez. Okay, next we have a Rubik's Cube stress ball. smell very cool though. Yeah. Just needs to air out a bit. I saw it and I was thinking it was an actual Rupert's Cube. I thought, ooh, cool. But no, it's stressful. Even better. Nice. Alrighty, next we have a Game of Thrones coaster set. Nice. A Coaster of Kings. Interesting name for it. And it's got the, um, no, I'll open it up. A, um, the sigils for each house from the looks of it. So the red one is the three headed dragon of um, Targaryen, House Targaryen. The crowned stag of House Baratheon. The direwolf of um, House Stark and the lion of Lannister. Mm. Very cool. Yes, I am a Game of Thrones geek and fan. I've even read all the novels that are out of the uh, A Song of Ice and Fire, the book series Game of Thrones was based on. To be surprised how many people I say that are fans of Game of Thrones are like, oh, have you read A Song of Ice and Fire? No. Is it anything like Game of Thrones? Anyway, on to the next thing. Ooh, a book. Awkward family postcards. Oh, gee. Oh, God, that's disturbing. Oh, my. These are really 
underneath the hat. Jeez. Bloody hell. Oh my god. That's funny. We've all got those awkward family photos. preview for next month. I'll um, go to that in a second. So we've got the exclusive Ghost Trap lunchbox. The Ghostbusters shirt. The Slimer plush. Everything I've just gone through. Only with a little bit of a, um, what's it called? Spiel about each. Or where you can get more. Yeah. Alright, next month, Star Wars The Force Awakens, coming to Nerdblock Classic next month. <clears throat> Not too far from now, in the September Nerdblock. Is that an Obi-Wan voice? I don't know. Uh, episode 7, The Force Awakens. It is a period of galactic celebration. Nerdblock, the world's premium subscription box for nerds, will be including an amazing official item from Star Wars Episode 7 The Force Awakens in the September Nerdblock Classic. No boffins were harmed in the harmed for this information. For some did but some did pass out due to overexcitement. To get your hands on one of these yada yada yada. Of course I'll be getting it. So next month's theme is hyperspace. Nice. I look forward to that. Granted, these days I prefer watching the um, Family Guy parody of uh, the Star Wars original trilogy and Robot Chicken's take on the Star Wars films, but um, I look forward to that. I'll definitely be going to see the new film when it comes out. And so here is the uh, contents for this month's Nerd Block. We've got the Ghostbusters t-shirt, the Awkward Family postcards, the Ghost Trap lunchbox, the Game of Thrones house sigil coasters, the plush Slimer, and the Stress Ball Rubik's Cube. Now, if you like these videos and want to see more geeky shit, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter. My account's for both at Brawl86. Um, yeah, and I'll see you next time. Please like, share, and subscribe. Cheers.